Hi everybody and welcome to the Maria Goretti Corner. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite sauces. You know, often I've gone to restaurants and it really irks me when I hear people say, oh, Waiter, wo zara hara wala noodle lekar aana. What's hara wala noodle? Why can't you just get the names right sometimes? Well, my darlings, let me just tell you that hara wala noodle is not hara wala noodle. It is actually spaghetti with pesto. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you to do today. Okay, so now it's really very simple. All you have to do is take a mixie. Into the mixie, you put your fresh, beautiful smelling basil leaves. Into it, I am going to now put four shallots of garlic. I am going to put my pine nuts. I am going to add three little pieces of tomato. You know, uh, pesto is a sauce that can be kept for at least three days. Okay, you should not keep any food for more than that. But if you put tomatoes in it, then it should be used fresh. It should be used immediately. Do not keep it in your fridge. But otherwise, if you want to keep your pesto for longer, then you can also add extra olive oil. So we're going to put 60 ml. One tablespoon is 15 ml, which means four tablespoons of olive oil go into this pesto. And I always believe in one extra for love. And one extra for luck. This is it. We're all done. Oh, a little parmesan. Never forget the parmesan. So now I'm going to just chop this parmesan in tiny little bits. You don't need very tiny bits because it's going into the mixy. But still. You know, you should look like you're doing a lot of work when you're making pesto because it's so tasty. Nobody is going to believe it was actually this easy to make. So yeah, a little extra natak goes a long way. I worked so hard for this pesto and that's why it's tasting so nice. And now the mixie does its magic. And now... Got to check it. Basically, just put it all together. I think this needs a little extra olive oil, most definitely. So yes, in this recipe of mine, by the time I'm done, we have put in 100 ml of olive oil. And then you must, must, must go for a run. Or then you should do what I do. Just think thin. It works all the time. Think thin. We're going to whiz this bit a little bit more. Lovely. So I'm not going to whiz this anymore because I do not want it to become a paste. It should be a nice thickish little coarse consistency that you can taste when you, you know, bite into it. Do you want to see how this looks? Looks like this. I'll tell you how it tastes. Oh my god. Okay, I've got to do something with this. So what I'm going to do now is make you a pasta which has got this amazing, amazing pesto in it. Okay, so this pesto of ours is ready. Oof. You know, if somebody came over and gave me, this is a beautiful gift. I think it's wonderful. If you love somebody, you should take pesto for them instead of taking flowers. I don't understand flowers. So frankly, if you want to buy me gifts, don't get me flowers. Get me food. Get me basil. Get me, you know, sprigs of rosemary. Get me beautiful vines of cherries. Uh, so I'll send you my address very soon, but uh, not right now. Anyway, this is now ready. This is our pesto here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some chili flakes because I really think a little zing in life is necessary. That's about it. Okay, so now that we put our chili flakes, we need to put in a small squeeze of lime. Just about this much, yes. Okay, good. We stir it all up and it's ready for some spaghetti. So on a nice medium fire, add to the a non-stick pan a nice glug of olive oil and then put in some 
butter. The reason you always put butter in after the oil is because the butter will burn if you put it in first. To this, you add cherry tomatoes and just let it cook. You add a little bit of chili flakes, some salt and you add finely chopped garlic. So I know you have to add your garlic, you know, first. But sometimes what happens is the garlic does tend to get burned. So if there is another vegetable cooking in, it does not. Which is why I kind of add it a little later when I cook. So as you can see, these tomatoes are kind of become slightly soft. We're not looking to completely cook them. To this, you can add your spaghetti and just toss it around. So basically, all the juices of the tomato gets infused in the pasta and all the garlic gets mixed in. Okay, so this is beautiful. It's all done. So you put this into your serving dish. Okay, we are done. Okay, always remember that pesto is never to be heated. Never, ever, ever. It's like a cardinal sin. You will kill the pesto. But what you can do is make your pasta and then put as much as you would like into your spaghetti. Okay? This is it. And then you just mix it in. Let it all just completely mix in. What's important when you make pasta, always remember, never make it in bulk. It really does not taste nice. When I have parties or anything like that, I actually make pasta per plate. Okay, that's the only way that you can actually get the flavors right. And now it's time for us to eat. So, you take your pasta and split. Here you have your pasta, here you have your cherry tomatoes and it's all good in paradise. And now for some mana from heaven, Parmigiana! So this is my spaghetti with pesto sauce. It is one of the most amazing tasting sauces you can make. And if you like what we made today, well, you've got to like, subscribe, comment and share. And meet me again right here on the Maria Goretti Corner while I dig into yumminess. I could marry you if you were a man. Seriously. <laughs>